Strategic Japan is a CSIS Japan Chair initiative that introduces research from Japanese scholars highlighting potential areas for enhanced U.S.-Japan cooperation. It's a dynamic time in Japan and, and in the U.S.-Japan relationship. Japan last year released a historic national security strategy that set out a number of policy initiatives that really cement Japan's status as an international leader, ranging from support to Ukraine uh, in the conflict with Russia to its leadership uh, on regional economic integration. Prime Minister Kishida has continued to cement Japan's position as a leader in the Indo-Pacific and beyond. CSIS has convened a group of high-profile scholars who will explain uh, different aspects of the strategy and identify opportunities for U.S.-Japan cooperation. We need to really uh, work more closely together with the U.S. and uh, increase the defense budget and we have to strengthen our security partnerships in the countries in this region, especially South Korea, Australia and India. But there are challenges. We have to understand very severe strategic environment surrounding Japan. That is the first step for realism. But uh, for thinking about realism, distribution of power is not all. We have to also think about the importance of value. In the area of nuclear policy, Japan faces a dilemma that Japan is the country which suffered a nuclear bombing during the wartime. So it is uh, very much interested in promoting a nuclear disarmament. In the meantime, Japan faces the most serious security environment where the China and North Korea are, are rapidly developing a nuclear arsenal. So the challenge for Japan is how we are going to promote a nuclear disarmament while the, you know, Japan have to be prepared to cope with nuclear challenges. It seems to me that the uh, Japanese government is now trying to use ODA mainly for three purposes. One is to rectify power asymmetry between China and the countries in the South China Sea region. And second is to rectify economic power asymmetry between Japan and China. The third one is to gain advantage in the competition with China for the support of the countries in the global south. To hear more from these scholars, watch our March 29th event, Japan's Realism Diplomacy, at CSIS.org.